Sydney, Australia, a bustling metropolis that's home to an abundance of world cultures. On its streets, different peoples from all corners of the globe walk amongst one another every day. Yet, how much do these communities really know about each other? In making this documentary, I've gone searching deep into the heart of Sydney's Korean community to bring you a glimpse of who the Koreans are, how they live here, and what they're contributing to Sydney's cultural life. The Korean Cultural Office, or KCO, was established in 2011. The office is a Korean government initiative which aims to promote Korean culture in Sydney. I'm meeting with senior staff member Juno to find out how KCO goes about this. Juno, So, we think understanding of uh, different cultures is very important to living all together very harmoniously. Firstly, we have a connection with those Chinese institutions, such as uh, Art Gallery, New South Wales, or NCA. We also have a connection with Japan, Japan Foundation oh, in yeah. Sydney, yeah. because the uh, value of the uh, Asia is pretty, I think there are a lot of similarities with each mm -hmm. other, so yes. maybe we can promote uh, all that Asian culture together rather than just uh, Korea alone. The Korean culture is one, one part of it. Yeah, yeah one part of it because we are Korean culture of this. Yeah. But yeah, in more 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 you know more visionary or more big view. Yeah. Yeah, the going all together and promoting yeah, all cultures to yeah. understand each other that we have our final goal to make. Yeah, that's great. Now I'm off to check out a Korean style cafe. My sweet memory. I'm enjoying a latte here in my sweet memory and I feel that the atmosphere here is quite unique. It's a mixture of uh, subtle lighting, eclectic use of furniture, but most importantly what really captures my attention is the abundance of little accessories on offer here. To Koreans maybe a cafe is more than just the experience of coffee, it's also about uh, lifestyle accessories. Here I've seen uh, books on sale, notepads, teddy bears and even shoes. And so that's been the most interesting thing for this, for this experience of this cafe and I'm really enjoying this coffee. Next stop, Morning Glory, a Korean accessories store. According to their slogan, Morning Glory aims to create products which make their customers smile. The brand has been successful with a range of cute accessories, especially their trademark toy characters. The friendly staff are happy to show me what all the hype is about. Now I'm exploring a largely unknown and recently developed Korean establishment. The first of its kind in Sydney, it goes by the rather ambiguous name, The Secret Room Cafe. It's actually a lot like a simulation of a lounge room that you'd find in a normal home. 
It's got a big TV, a couple of couches. It begs the question, why would you hire a room to do something that you can just do at home? Well, actually, it's often culturally inappropriate in Korea for young Koreans to bring home their friends into their family space, especially for young couples. And so this popped up, this solution, a video room, as a way for young Koreans to hire a bit of privacy to hang out. The industry thrived in Korea, and now the trend has reached Australia's shores. The question is, will this take off here? Oh. What's this one here? <laughs> well, as I said, young couples are often coming here for a bit of privacy. Good luck to management stopping that one. <laughs> Night falls and the streets of Sydney come alive. People from all walks of life get together to unwind and socialise. So how do Koreans enjoy the nightlife? Well, tonight I'm joining a small group of Koreans to find out how. <laughs> Is there a certain way that you, you pour drinks? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, Do I just pour myself? Uh, no. Oh, no. Why not? You shouldn't what? do that. This is kind of rude. Yeah. It's yeah. Very rude. Is it? Oh. If you pour it yourself. Oh, so how, how should I pour? Should I pour uh, pour? I'll show you. Yeah. <clears throat> if you, you were older than me, yeah. and I, I have to pour, I have to give the drink. Like this, the whole pan and the manner and like this. Two hands. Oh, two hands. Yeah. Uh, like this. Yeah. yeah. This is manner. And if you're yeah. older than me, yeah. I don't have to. Yeah. So yeah. And I put this yeah. in and then he gives oh. really more food than me. Really? This is this is because uh, older people have to use it. Yeah. 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 Uh, out of the Just because they are older than us. Oh, that's very interesting. Well, let's keep eating. Yeah. yeah. Do you have food in your glass? Oh, I do. You want to try it more? Uh, like this? Yeah. Two hands? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now it's out. Yeah. 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 Let's cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 And the night didn't end there. Karaoke, Korean style. It's been a thrilling brief encounter with Sydney's Korean community. And the good news is, there is so much more Korean culture to discover here in Sydney. Um, yeah. Great. And so, yeah. Yeah. Till next time, Annyeong Haseo. <laughs> Hi.
알수 있는 것이 많찮단 걸 느껴갈 때쯤 내 모든 것다 다.